Hey everyone, it's Amanda and Monica Alumi, and we are here today with our Mars's new design called Flower Love. Here are our three interpretations of it. Our Mars is Rainbow Loom Adventures on Instagram. Here is her account. She has an amazing account and she is so sweet. She is Lumi, and Amanda's texting me. Thank you, Amanda, just saying. All right, but this is her awesome flower love bracelet. Look at her um, blinged one, just so pretty. This is great for Valentine's. So let's get started and let's show you the color combos and how long. This is, stop texting me, Amanda. Let's see, you know. Just Amanda. All right, so this one is fit with eight of the hearts, and it will fit a larger wrist, which it will fit my wrist. And this is going the full two loom links. Today we will be doing one, but we'll be doing this one exactly. And this is seven of the hearts, and it will fit an average wrist. This is the blinged one we did. A little bling and a bling bling. Um, and it we actually had to cut it down because it was way too big, even for me. So love it. I will be wearing this on a Valentine's Day. But today we will be doing this one. We are using the pink medieval, the jade medieval, the turquoise medieval. And I'm not for sure if this is the avocado medieval or if this is lime green medieval. They look like a shade different and they're right next to each other in my box. So this is what we'll be doing today, this exact same color scheme. And you will need to have your loom set up just like this. Five pin bars in the V configuration. And it's going to be two loom links. But for an average wrist size, you will not need to go down all the way to the end. You will be making seven of these hearts. Now for um, a larger wrist size, you can go to the, all the way to the end. But today we will be just doing an average length one. So go get your loom set up, your bands, your hook, a C-clip, and come right back. I'll go get Amanda. Let's tell her to stop texting me. All right, so we are going to start out with a pink heart. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop two bands in that center peg, or that center um, peg row. Now we're just gonna be doing single bands. And we're going to go to the left from the, sing from the middle row and to the right. And then you're gonna go to the left again and to the right, whatever you do to one side, you have to just do to the other. Then go up one, then over one, and then we're going to go down and down. And look at the cute little heart. Isn't it sweet? Okay, so now we are going to take our turquoise medieval and we're going to do three bands. One on the second row where it starts at the top of the heart. One right at the middle of the heart. And then one just at like the mirrored position on the heart. So now we're getting ready to start our second heart and it's going to be in the jade green. We're doing the exact same thing. What you do to one side, you have to do to the other. Going up. The side. Down. Now this time I'm going to be using the avocado or the lime green. I'm not for sure which it is. 
do the same thing like I did with the turquoise. One of those bands wasn't on there all the way. All right, now I'm going right back to the pink. I'm doing the same thing. Now you could speed up throughout the process. I'm going to finish this heart and then I'm going to go off screen and do the other four hearts. Now remember, if you're making an average size wrist bracelet, you'll need seven hearts. If you're making a bigger size wrist bracelet, you will need eight hearts. So I need four more hearts for an average and I will do those off screen. Don't forget to do your three bands in between each heart. So here's my last heart. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hearts for an average wrist. Now I'm gonna go back to the start of my bracelet and I'm gonna grab the lime green or avocado and I'm gonna start with one going up and I'm going to go to the left, to the right, then to the left up one, to the right up one, and then finally straight up. All right, now it looks just like a starburst, but they're put in a different order, okay? So next we will be grabbing the jade green and we're going to make another kind of half starburst. So I put one from the second row, from first pin to second pin, second row to the first row, second row to the first row, second pin, one straight up and down, and then one a little diagonal. Now I have my turquoise. Now you could put these in any color scheme you want in the middle. We're just choosing to alternate the colors. Remember you have your own imagination of how you want to create your bracelet. This is just our one idea. Now in the middle, right here, we're going to add two bands. Right here where we have the three turquoise bands, we're going to add a green, a lime green here, and a lime green here. Then we're going to take two more lime greens and we're going to put a cat band here and a cat band here. So you can loom those out just like you would a starburst. Alright, let's move on to our second one. This one we're going to start with a turquoise. So straight up, sideways to the left, sideways to the right, sideways to the left, sideways to the right, straight up and down. Then we have the lime green, it's a little messed up. The lime green, and then the pink. I'm going to do this one more time, and then I'm going to go off camera and finish the rest of the flowers, the flower hearts for the flower love bracelet. Okay, and right here, you're going to be putting two turquoises, just like you put the two lime greens before. And you're going to put two turquoise cat bands. One. And two. Now I'm going to do one more with y'all. Y'all, oh goodness. You're going to think we're country. Okay, now... Lime green, it's 
flower first. Then we have the jade. And finally, the turquoise. And then we're going to do our two extra bands right here in the lime green. And then the cat bands in the lime green. All right, I'm going to go off camera and finish the last four, and I will be right back. All right, I loomed out, or I didn't loom out. I placed all of the inside bands, and I placed these last two cat bands on the inside. I'm not going to place my final cat band that will do that will hold for my perimeters yet because I need to loom out some of the starbursts first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, if you have watched our videos, you know that I always go from left to right. If you go from right to left, that's fine. Just keep it consistent. So I'm going to go inside of the cat band. Grab the one on top. I like to hold the cat band because a lot of times it'll pop off. And I'm just going to loom out all of these like a regular starburst. This is the turquoise. So that was the turquoise one, but I'm also going to grab this one green, lime green, from this full starburst here and pull it in. Okay, now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to loom out this starburst. And I'm also going to grab that other lime green from that middle starburst. So now the only bands that we have left to loom from this middle starburst are one, two, three, and four. Okay? So for the fourth one, we are now going to put our cat band on. We've got two bands of the pink. And I'm going through all of those bands. Get all the way down, making sure I go all the way down to get that last band right there. All right, so I just pulled that band forward. Now I'm pulling all of those bands that have already been loomed back, and I'm going to loom the bands in the order that they are placed. So this one was on top. Then this one is next, and finally we have the one going up and down. So that's all of the starbursts in, or the starburst-like pattern in this heart. We still have to do the perimeter, but we do all of the starburst uh, patterns first. Now we're going to do those two drop bands that we dropped um, in between the hearts. We're going to do the ones that were the upside down V. So these are the turquoise. You're leaving those three straight ones alone for right now. You're not going to use those until we do the perimeter. So now it's just like before. We're going to go in. We're going to do the starburst on the sides. Just do them in order. And make sure you grab that one last one that goes to this middle one on these outsides when you're doing your outside ones. There's that middle one that I pulled in. All right, so we have those four bands left. We're going to go inside of these bands and pull that blue turquoise forward. 
Now we're going to go inside of all of those and pull how they are placed. It should be just like it was last time. And there we have it. They are all loomed. I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to go off screen and do the rest. These, this is that upside down V or an, or an A frame. Now we're going to loom out the side starbursts. Sometimes it's easier for me to go around the starburst. Okay, now I have the middle starburst one band. Now I'm going to my opposite starburst. But sometimes it's easier instead of um, grabbing the starburst directly off or the, the bands directly off the pin going behind the pin and grabbing them when you have the starbursts cat band. And now I have the band from the middle one. Pull these bands back, pull it down, and then grab those three in order. One, two, and three. And then we have the turquoise upside down V or A frame. All right, I'm gonna do these last four off camera and I will come back to show you how to do the perimeter. All of the hearts have now been loomed out. Now we need to do the perimeter and these little three in between. So I'm going back to my first heart, going inside all of these bands here. Make sure you put, pull all of them back. And you're gonna grab the first pink one that's on top. For me, it's the left one. Make sure you have fairly decently strong bands for this. And you're just looming out the perimeter. Put you on this side. Making sure you're going in behind all of those other bands. Now when you get over here to these triple, these three bands, you're going to loom over top of them first. And then, now I have this whole heart loomed out. Now I'm going to go in this side where the first one is and loom it onto that one. Pull this middle one, loom it onto that one. Grab this one and loom it onto this, oops, loom it onto that one. So now I'm going to go pull all those bands back and grab the jade. Now, if you did the same pattern on every heart, you should stick with the same pattern when you're looming them. So it should be the left side every time or the right side every time. So make sure you're pulling back all those bands. These three usually have the most. So make sure you pull back all of those to get to the perimeter one. All right, now we're at another perimeter one. Where we're doing those three bands. And that just locks everything into position. Now I'm going in and doing this third one. Making sure I've gone underneath or in behind all of those other bands. I'm going to complete this one and I'm going to do the rest off camera. All right, I have my heart done. Now I'm doing my three bands from underneath. So I'm going to go off camera and do these last four. All right, I loomed out all the way down here. Now I'm going to grab my bands that I dropped down here. I'm going to pull them up. I'm going to get my C clip. Put it on there. Now I'm going to take the bands off of the first and the fifth pegs. Just 
just to make it a little easier for the bracelet to come off. We don't want any bands to break. We don't like snappage. No snappage. That should be a new hashtag. No snappage. We don't like it. This would be an awesome bracelet to give as Valentine's. I think I may be giving these and the Love Lock bracelets to my students for Valentine's Day. All right. So now let me move the loom. You're just going to pull those hearts out so you have a heart on each one. And how cute is that? This is the Flower Love Bracelet by Miss Rainbow Loom Adventures. She is an awesome person. She's our Mars on Instagram. Now the bracelets that I'm wearing today is the Love Lock Bracelet by Lumi Mama and the tutorial is on our channel. And this is the Comrade Bracelet by Rainbow Limb Enthusiast and is also on our channel. So if you decide to make this gorgeous Flower Love Bracelet, and I know I'll be seeing a ton of them for Valentine's Day, would you please hashtag or tag and hashtag uh, Rainbow Loom Adventures and tag and hashtag us as well. We all love to see your different color combinations and your renditions of them. Also, if you liked this video, please give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. Also, if you would like to know when we get new tutorials out, subscribe to our channel. You all have a great day. Bye.